y'all, it's Katie, and welcome back to Kate Miss. I am actually filming this on a December 2nd, so Kate Miss has just kicked off. I am finalizing the video for tonight to be my second video for Kate Miss, but I want to sit down and do my makeup, and I got a request to do a tutorial with the Just My Luck palette from ColourPop. I wore it in this look up here. And someone left a comment saying that they had this palette, would really like to see different types of looks with it. Um, the look I had in the video, she said she was really interested in seeing it. I don't tend to repeat my looks, but I do want to use this palette. I think I've only used it once, maybe twice before. So I figured I would sit down and film this little tutorial. So let's just go ahead and hop right into it and get going and create something, something with this palette. I'm going to try to go really light in my crease and uh, start with this one and then I'll follow up with that one. Okay, so that first shade was very, very uh, light, but it's also, you know, a very light shade in this palette, so. Not bad, but uh, I'm going to go into this shade now and put that into the crease. I'm sorry if I sound congested, by the way, I meant to mention that, um, I think it's just something with this pregnancy or maybe being pregnant and in Florida, but I am on and off very congested just randomly. It tends to be when the weather changes drastically and it just was nice and warm this, uh, this weekend and now it is cold again. So I don't know if that has something to do with it but I am so stuffy this morning, so my apologies. Okay, I really like how that's going on, but I feel like it's also not really blending well into the I other shape. That. So I'm gonna go in with a slightly, it's a DS04, it's from Dominique Cosmetics, just to get a little bit of a bigger brush so it doesn't take so long as that, what was this? I was using a Sigma E36 brush. I'll blend it out a little bit and then from there I'll take go back into that first shade and blend it in I figured I could since I'm doing this a special request I meant to look up her name but I'll go ahead and put it on the screen this is the comment that I got and since you know, I figured I'm doing a video for 25 straight days in December, I can do some uh, subscriber requests. So I wanted to go ahead and do this video and I figured I could also have the chance of giving you guys a bit of an update on me because Thanksgiving just passed and uh, my Thanksgiving, well the Thanksgiving day and all that was wonderful. Um, the last week of November kinda hit me upside the head and changed my plans drastically and I shared a little bit on Instagram but I figured I could catch y'all up here. Yeah, I like how that's looking. This shade, chances are, is just, like you can get it to show up, but I feel like if you are going to do any type of blending after you set it down, it just blends away. So like, I feel like I'm continually having to put it back and then try and like diffuse it with the darker shade, but not blend it away. It's pretty, it's just, it doesn't wanna stay. It's such a pastel color. Okay, so I think I'm just giving up on that. Uh, chances are shade, it's just so pastel. And I'm mean, putting this into you know the crease there, but I'm taking Act Natural on a pencil brush. And on this side, I just put it right into my crease because I want to try a cut crease and I want to get a really dark shade right in there like I often see. And I think it looks so good on a cut crease or a half cut crease. So we're gonna try that. But yeah, anyway. Um, my Thanksgiving, or my last week of, last full week, I should say, of um, November did not go as planned because I had a week, you know, leading up to, I had Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday before Thanksgiving, and then, you know, we were hosting Thanksgiving at my house because my husband was on call, and so it allowed him to be able to be, you know, um, do Thanksgiving with us and still be able to be here at the house. On call just means that he needs to be at his computers in case he got, gets a study. He can go upstairs. He has all the computers here that he needs to read the study. So we hosted it this year, but I had it. So I had Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday leading up, and then my husband was going to be home on call all weekend, but he would be home. So I wanted to take, I had so many things planned for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday 
to pre-record and pre-edit videos for Kate Miss. So yeah. Sunday morning, I woke up and I felt a little weird. It'd been a long weekend. We, you know, do I did family pictures. I didn't really get much of a break. Like usually throughout the week and whatnot, I'm I try to be really good at like resting when the kids are napping. You know, not cleaning up the house until one set time at night that way I'm not constantly on my feet and constantly doing things and um, the weekend you know Saturday and Friday before that I didn't do that as well like I was busy during their naps I wasn't able to relax as I was prepping for pictures and stuff like that a couple errands to run and I wanted to run you know free of kids so my kid and my husband stayed here while I ran out and did some errands so I just wasn't able to relax and so Sunday I woke up and I just felt a little off but I was like, you know what, I'm fine. You know, I just I felt a little more tired and nauseous. I have trouble with like insomnia at night sometimes when I'm just got a lot on my mind or I don't even know. You know, if you've ever been pregnant, you have to wake up like 50 million times during the night and go to the bathroom. And when I do that, I just sometimes have a really hard time falling back asleep. So anyway, I was struggling with sleep. I was doing a lot. So Sunday, I just felt a little more nauseous and my a little more crampy. Um, Kind of like you know your period cramps and stuff like that but i was like you know what i'm fine i'm you know i'm gonna go to church we're gonna do our normal sunday routine we did and then monday i woke up and i was cramping really bad i my stomach didn't feel good i felt extremely nauseous to the point where like i couldn't even finish my coffee i couldn't eat anything but at the same time like i'm also that person throughout all of pregnancy if i don't eat something i'll continue to feel worse so I kept trying to eat stuff and it just kept getting worse and I was just incredibly nauseous and miserable and crampy and okay so now I'm gonna go into this shade and pack that on my outer corner so anyway I ended up uh, calling my mom and uh, I had one of my sisters come out and stay with me for that day or that day uh, Monday Tuesday and then Wednesday until the day before Thanksgiving just to help me out because like Monday I was just it was so bad. Oh, that's very much more hunter green than I was anticipating. Hmm, because I got a very minty, minty look going on in my crease. Interesting. Interesting. I was not expecting that to be such a hunter type green. I'm sorry. I'm not paying enough attention. Okay, I'm going to go into Act Natural, which is why I put in my crease. I'm going to kind of put that over top and try to blend the two, maybe. Just because I don't think, I don't think that would look real good to have a really dusky. Now, what is going on? That looks a little patchy. All right, let's go back over. Oh no! I feel like this look is going downhill very fast. That looks terrible. Yeah, it's uh, it's coming off right there. Okay, I'm going to go in with that Mo Bamba, whatever, the Hunter Green. Do it on this side and only use this shade to see if it does the same thing, if it does that patchy weirdness, or if it's my fault for trying to add those two dark shades together. No, this is starting to do it too. Hmm. Like it packs on nice, but when I start to blend it out, that's when I get like, this is a bald patch. I think you guys can see that. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's my first time using that shade. It's like a, like I said, a hunter green with uh, a matte hunter green with glitter in it. This is not going well. <laughs> Wonderful. Just what I wanted today. Okay. This is, oh, this looks so bad. Mm. This side's not looking too bad, I think, because I didn't really add that second shade on top. For some reason, oh my gosh. All right, I'm making a mess and it's not helping it. I just, uh, I cut this out, but I just took it off my lid, reprimed my lid, and it still looks terrible. Okay, so this is not going as planned. Um, I just took this lid off, the lid area, and tried to reprime it as well, and it still looks terrible. I'm just gonna keep going, and if I need to bring another dark grungy, not grungy, um, a dark greenish blackish shade in to fix this, I will. <laughs> this is not going as planned. I did not expect to have a problem with this palette. 
at all. So I have kind of lost where I was. I'm going to take this uh, Alamar Cosmetics brush and I'm going to cut out my half cut crease. So anyway, Monday, I was just kind of really basically flat on my back. My sister came over uh, around lunchtime and I kind of helped her feed the kids. I put my kids to bed and then like I just crashed and slept for a real long time. Woke up, still wasn't feeling well, but woke up feeling a little bit better and just sat on the couch pretty much the whole day and tried to relax and just rest. Okay, sorry about that. I ended up having to really concentrate and then my daughter was in and out talking and stuff like that. So I just fast forward that. Today is just <laughs> not a great day when it comes to makeup. Um, I was not expecting to have this much trouble with this palette, so it's really throwing me for a loop. But uh, let's go ahead and put, I'm going to take, let's see this, and then let's get some brushes here. And I'm going to take 50-50 and put this on the outer half. And then this shade right here, uh, Big Banks, I'm going to put on the inner half. So yeah, anyway, I had to pretty much sit and do nothing all day Monday. I woke up Tuesday feeling better, but still not 100%. Still was experiencing more kind of like... Braxton Hicks and stuff like that and cramping than typical. So had to take another very easy day. I was like, I got tired super easy, super fast. So couldn't do anything on Tuesday, like anything blog related. And again, like I'm sure, I'm sure I said this already, but I had so many videos and content I would had planned to get done. So anyway, even though I felt a little bit better on Wednesday, I still took it really easy because I didn't want to, you know, do too much on Wednesday and then be out of commission on Thursday, Thanksgiving. So again, didn't really do anything at all for my YouTube and preparing for a Cape Miss. So that was really, you know, frustrating and difficult for me to accept, but I had to just kind of be like, hey, it is what it is. You need to rest, don't want anything to happen, or don't want to be totally out of commission for December either. So as much I would have as I would have liked to get more pre-planning done for December and more pre-content filmed, it just it didn't happen. So as I am now in December and nowhere near as on top of things as I had expected, I'm still trying to take it easy. This is the first time filming since so this is Monday the 2nd. Last Monday is when I woke up and just felt terrible. So it was probably the Friday before that, a couple days before. So over a week I haven't filmed. It's It's been weird. It's so nice to get back into it though because I do miss it. Even though this is a has been a rough, a rough filming day. Oh my gosh. Between my eyeshadows giving me problems and my kids popping in and out. It's been interesting. So I hope I'm able to at least edit this together as a cohesive tutorial of sorts, even though, my gosh, I don't know if I'd want you to recreate this tutorial. So I'm so sorry. It's been a mess. Yeah. I like how this is looking just the, the outer corner still this one, especially, I don't know what I don't have dry eyelids. I use the same kind of priming stuff that I always do, so I don't think it's anything like that, but I don't know. It's been, it's terrible, honestly. Anyway, okay, so just touching this up. I am going to pause here in my story. I'm gonna, you know, put liner on and fix this with an eyeshadow. Complete the rest of my face and I'll come back and do my lower lash line and close out this video, this hot mess express of a video. <laughs> Okay, we're back. I'm gonna put some of the sleek, intense waterline in black. Oh wait, you know what? Hey, oh, you got another one. I'm gonna yeah. use this cream gel liner from ColourPop in Zulu. Let's see what that looks like, because it's kind of the same color. Ooh, wait, that's like pastel. Oh, we'll do it for fun. This is like um, almost white as opposed to this color that I was expecting. This whole <laughs> makeup look has been a bit unexpected. I ended up trying to pat a little black in there. I still see it. I tried to bring some of this 50-50 and just bring it all the way into my crease. I still see it. So I don't honestly, I don't know if it's my lid today, something wrong with it or the shadow. So 
Let me know if you have if you have this palette if you've had any issues with that shade, the um, Mobamba, because I am going to use it again um, before I do my palette ranking video for the month of November, but. I'm not looking forward to it. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of that Mobamba, as scary as it is, this shouldn't be a problem, and I'm going to put that right against the lower oh, lashes. Okay, I'm gonna go into this one in the middle and just no, use no, that to Holly. diffuse. I'm going to put that, my favorite shade, Mary Jane, that. I'm gonna put that as my inner corner, and then I'll put on some mascara and lipstick and we'll be done. Okay, so this is the completed look. I used the Eye Explore 428 from L'Oreal Paris, their little liquid lipstick there to finish off the look. But this is what we came up with. Uh, oh my goodness, I just felt like this whole look was a bit of a hot mess express. That patch right there, I don't even know if you guys can see it, but I see it very vividly whenever I look at this eye look and it annoys me. I did add some black to it, but nothing's really sticking there today. So like I said, I'm not sure if it's just me and my eyelids or this eyeshadow, but I will definitely be using that shade again in a look. I think I'll do something with these three right here uh, to test it before I do my final review of it. But if you have this palette and you've experienced the same thing with that Mobamba shade, definitely let me know. I'm really curious because Today just didn't go as planned. I, I expected to just effortlessly put a look together and catch you guys up on my Thanksgiving week and how interesting it was and my pre-planning for Kate Miss that went out the window, but I feel like I kind of just got derailed when everything started going south and I didn't really wrap up. But anyway, Kate Miss has officially begun. I don't know when I'm posting this. It'll probably be the first week or so um, just to give you guys an update. But yeah, that's kind of how my last week of November went. It was a little bit crazy, but I'm still excited for Kate Miss and I hope you guys are enjoying it. And as always, just thank you so much for your support. And I didn't say in the beginning, but there is a giveaway going throughout the whole of December. I'll have that linked up here and it is the first link you can find in my description box But yeah with all that said I'm gonna go now uh, It's been I've been filming for a long time because I've had to do so many stops the kids have been a little antsy today just kind of getting back into the routine of things so we've had a lot of adventures in between getting ready but we made it to the end that's what's important and yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you guys found it enjoyable even though it did not go as planned and it wasn't as effortless as I thought it should be but it is what it is what you're gonna do anyway thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys found it informative and to the subscriber who asked me to create a look with this I hope you enjoyed this and get some ideas for this palette even though I highly recommend you don't use the Mobamba shade maybe just go with charmed instead of Mobamba but anyway thank you so much for watching I'll see you very soon in tomorrow's video bye guys